Morning. Checking the weather forecast for today. It says it's not going to rain until nine o'clock tonight. But um, that means we might actually be able to get some oil seed rape cut and we might actually be able to get the bale out. So it could be a very, very busy day. I've got an exciting thing happening at dinner time as well, but maybe tell you about that a little bit later. Andy's hiding there. Morning, Andy. Morning. <laughs> He's cleaning his windows. Um, I'm gonna get my phone charger out of here, but I'm taking some cattle this morning. Um, that's my first job in the Scania Beast. Yep, so I'll jump in this beast and off we go. Oh, nice. So we might actually be able to get the big Baylor Beast that's been so pretty to look, in the, look at in the yard out for a little play today. Um, but that's sad times as well because that means it'll be leaving us after today. No! Real nice tractor store in the yard though. Real nice. Um, yeah, hopefully we get to use it anyway. See what some of them bales are like. See if they're heavy. So we are behind a right beast here. Turf farming. Big turf tyres. I'm just waiting here to uh, to get washed out. This doesn't normally happen. There's not normally a queue here. But um, I just seen St Mary's livestock wagon, and uh, I don't know if a few of you watch this, but there's um, a TikToker called Becky Giles, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna see Becky. But um, no, it wasn't. It was um, unless Becky's turned into a, a gentleman with dark brown hair, then um, it wasn't Becky. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm just waiting around now, which is a bit of a pain. I don't really like waiting, but I um, guess that's what a lot of lorry drivers have to do, isn't it? I think that's the thing that uh, had put me off going into the lorry driving industry. Uh, just all the waiting about, just sat doing nothing, watching TikTok or watching YouTube. I mean, at least they're positive things if you're watching my channel. <laughs> Shameless plug there. Anyway, I'll twiddle my thumbs a little bit longer. Um, I don't want to bore everybody with my boredom. Field here, which is turning the gear off. They're harvesting turf. I'd like to go and meet them guys one day. On the way here, but um, I ain't got time to go and ask any questions, so I just fill it from the roadside, show you guys what it is. They're always harvesting turf around here. Big job. Rolling over for the combines here as well, they're out rolling. Oh, I've just got back into the yard, on the road in, I passed my dad. Uh, he's gone to check on the straw. We've got the combined turning up in the next half an hour-ish time. Um, Andy looks like he's doing a mix, or is it M? Not sure. No, it's M, there's a ponytail there. And he's not grown some hair over the weekend. <laughs> Um, so yeah, hopefully the bale is going to be running, the combine is going to be running. We're all going to be busy, but before we do that, steal them and we are going to be taking some cattle down to one of the fields that we emptied uh, the weekend, was it? Or just before the weekend? I can't remember what it was. But um, yeah, we've got an empty field and we're basically going to put some cows into it now. Um, Hello. Have you had a good time at the weekend? Right. Do you know where you went yet? Yeah? Four hours down. Really? Yeah. Jesus. Was it Cotswolds? Uh, yeah, just below. Just below the so Cotswolds. Just below it and then just below. Nice. Mm. Enjoy it. Yeah. Good. Business. Right, I'm just going to get a drink while you get them numbers for them cows then. Yeah. yeah? Okay. okay. Shutting the door up. He's getting ready to go up combining, carrying that, uh, carrying that horse he'd rate. M's coming on a little adventure with me. I'm going to um, drop these cows off. France, are we? We're going to France, everyone. We're going to France. Uh, bonjour, bonjour. Um, Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle Joe. What are you? Je m'appelle Francesca. <laughs> okay, French Emily is Francesca. Um, and then at one o'clock today, do you know what's happening at one o'clock today? Yeah, Andy said. Got an interview, haven't we? <laughs> Fake TV interview, documentary oh. time. Might not happen, might not happen, but we're going to interview for it. Uh, the, the, Expect the unexpected. 
they've contacted us about it. You know, we had contacted them. They contacted us, want to interview us and video us and see where it goes from there. Maybe a documentary. Business. And them are like having to push through the. It's not good, is it? It is literally like an adventure, Em. It's whether or not the lorry can get through and get back. We've got through one. We can get through one. Well, we got to the gate anyway, so should be all right. I don't know. I'm guessing it's so you don't get a splinter from it or something daft like that. HSE. Yeah, like you're walking through all these thistles with your shorts on. It's not so bad here. And then we get to... Yeah, and it's literally just all thistles. We can't squash it down the other day. Yeah, we'll squash it down again, won't we? Right, we'll get back up and we can uh, let these guys go then. So M's just uh, letting them go. That's it, go to that side, Em. Just stand in that gap. It's a bit steeper than I'd like to have the back door, but I can't get it any lower. I've lowered the suspension. Let them go nice and steady. Em just didn't watch that gap outside at Laurie very well then. But the ones escaped, so we're alright. There we go, guys. Into their new field. And they're off. Well done, Em. First letting out into the field from your, Em. Cattle lorries. You never guess who I've seen today. Oh. Becky Giles's lorry. Really? Yeah, I knew that. I put you up. Yeah, but Becky weren't there. Yeah. It were a man with dark hair. I knew you'd be excited about it, Em. Yeah. You know, if you're down here, Em, it's like some people are really nice and like. Smile at him, we smile at everybody, don't we, when we're passing him? Yeah. Because, like, obviously they've had to walk into the side or whatever, and, you know, it's just general, just being courteous and being nice people, innit? Yeah. And then you get odd person who just, like, looks at you as though, like, you your piece of stuff on the shoe, and I just think, like, what, what, why? Why be like that? Cows. Oh, cows. There they are, exploring. And that's not much full of water in there. But it's uh, well dried up. Yeah, but so is that. Yeah, same at this side. So we've got cattle at this side. Let me uh, put the window down. Back by the looks of it, they're coming to see us. But um, yeah, this here, all this green bit is usually full of water. It's just disappeared with the heat wave and the uh, drought. Oh, have you missed it? You've gone too far. He's actually cutting. He's actually setting off. Um, possibly Andy, if he's about, are um, gearing up for this interview. Yeah. But it's not like no, we have not done before, is it? We did one a few months ago, didn't we? So jobs are good. I always feel a little bit nervous though before something like this. But it's the beast. All right, Andy. Yeah. Right. You doing cleaning your cab out? Yeah. Has he got some cut yet? Well, I'm not sure. Um, I'll tape them holes up. Yep, no problem. So when we were doing the rubble the other day, we noticed there was a hole in the here, um, hole in the trailer. No good. So um, Andy will get that sorted in a minute. That's it, um, you hit it. Go on, harder. Have you sorted it? Yep. Have you cut your hand? <laughs> <laughs> Just leave it, leave it. Andy will get some tape and put it over it. No, why don't you hit it with hammer? No, 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 no. Just get That's some tape, it, be right. It, well we could and then you could weld it but then you know for in this circumstance here where we're taking two loads of rape we'll just put some tape on it it'll be fine is that all it is two loads probably in this trailer well probably maybe like four load altogether so me and em have just oh it's windy isn't it i wonder if people can hear we've just done our interview um it's quite fun, wasn't it? Quite fun, wasn't it? Yeah. 
showing uh, Sergio around our farm, telling him little bits and bobs about what we're doing. Um, it's a long process. It's not like we've got the job or anything like that, but um, who, knows? It, who knows? Watch this space. Watch this space. Uh, could be interesting. Um, we're ex well, yeah, we are excited, aren't we? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. But um, if, it, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. You know, whatever. It doesn't matter. We love doing what we're doing here. Like... <laughs> Joe's emotional words. Joe's emotional words. Right, so we're going to get on and we're going to do some... Uh, are you going to finish that mill mix off, maybe? Yeah? yeah? You, Em's going to finish the mix off and um, I might see about whether we're going to bale the rape straw or if we're just going to chop it. I don't know what they're doing. I'll have to find out. Right, okay. on it. Walking down to the field, look at this. Look at all them blackberries. Nice. Tasty. Actually, that one a bit sour, but um, yeah, quite nice actually. I love that. Just been picking stuff. I like going hazelnut picking when it gets around to autumn. Done that with a wife before. It was nice. Yeah, like it. Everything's in fruit. So Andy's just packed up. He's got a steady day today, you know. Hey, eh? can't in rape. No, just waiting for the. They're just going round the first time. I think they're somewhere over there. Look at those skies, amazing. Um, yeah, you don't get many trailerfuls of rape. Let's have a look at it. It's, uh, it's a crop that doesn't do many tons to the acre. Let's have a quick, quick gander at what she's like. Oh, so I'm surprised actually, because there's uh, not, uh, the pods haven't opened up. But here, they have here, but that might just be where he's knocked it with the combine. That's good. So yeah, that's the stuff that we're harvesting out of these little pods. I'm trying to get some in my hand, but it's, it's, it's difficult to just falling out as I'm trying to use my camera. Um, and that, they will press that down and it makes rapeseed oil. So um, like sunflower oil, um, you can use it as a replacement for that. So if you want to buy British, buy British rapeseed oil. Um, and it could be from our field here. Um, also use it in like biodiesel and stuff like that, although I'm not quite sure how much they use that anymore because I think one of the plants should show. Somebody let us know in the uh, comments. I've just only just thought about that and I might be telling people the wrong information if the plants are still open, but I thought that they stopped using it as much. Combine in the background. A little gander in Andy's trailer. See what we can see. So there we have it. So you get another tip in a bit, maybe in here, and then um, and then take that off to the store, which is not on our farm, it's uh, on a different farm. Um, we'll put it into storage there. I'm up here, I'll, uh, I'll try and get a, a nice shot of the combine coming down. There we go. I don't know if you can t tell, but you can see like the heat coming off. Off the combine there. Andy, your roof is quite mucky. Yeah? Yeah? I have not washed it for me. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so Tom's coming now to um, put this rape in the trailer. Is he lined up right? Guys, keep getting this, um, getting this great combined off. So, yeah, what a beast! He's just cutting his uh, break into there, first run along the field, and he's just taking a test to check the moisture. Um, not long, I'm not sure how long he's going to be, and I've got to go and check some straw. So I'll, uh, we'll find out the answer to that maybe a little bit later. If, uh, if he gives me a phone call, we're off. Oh, I've just got to the field. All these little bits here 
or where I've been testing the straw, trying to find some um, bits that are dry. And it's, the top's not so bad. But this one here, that's not so bad at all, really. But then we get to another row. And it's wet through, like leaving water on my hands. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's like wet on my hands. So I think even if we got in here and we rolled this over, I don't think it would dry before the rain that we're gonna be getting tonight. Time you turn this stuff it just breaks down and goes into the bottom. So um, we need to turn it and get it ready when we're gonna get it dry because I don't wanna be turning it and then having to turn it again and then having to turn it again. We just wanna be able to knock it over and, um, and get it bailed. But well, I don't think that's gonna be today, which is a real shame really. So me and Em now are gonna worm, worm and fluke these guys that we fetched from the field. What's the plan? Just uh, come to this side and um, we'll get a few of you up into the race. That's it, nice and steady. Nice, just let these come back. Nice and steady. That's it, don't need all of you, do we? Just need a few. Come on then, that's it, nice and steady, guys. They do, if you only put a few up at once, you see, and not. Try and crowd it all up, then they, uh, they should walk up nice and steady. Automatically walk into the back of the crush. I know they won't because the door's shut, of course. I've had trouble putting this fluke aside up there, so I've had to do it. And now I've got covered in it. Is that why you wanted me to put it up there? So no, you didn't get it on your shirt? Normally that falls off and I get it in my own everywhere. So Joe does it. Gets it in his hair or in his shirt in this occasion. Right, anyway, we're going to get these guys. M puts that in the mouth and she puts um, a spray of worm along the back. And then we're writing on the uh, stuff we need to write in the tag because it's worn off with the other pen because the other pen was crap. But um, these ones are good because they're actually for this job. It's business. Is this your favourite job then, Em? Yeah. What, better than tractor driving? Anything? Nothing beats worming and vaccinating cows. No. <laughs> you must be crackers. You must be crackers. Just love cows, don't you? I guess. <laughs> okay. Anybody else like that? More like your cow work better than your tractor work? That's Em. Em's telling me about how she cleaned the mixer the other day. Is that right? Yeah, I did a big square of it. Can you see? Oh yeah, I can see where you've like hit it there. We couldn't reach any higher. But <laughs> anyway, I digress. It's time to do mixer mentions. So today we've got um, Catherine Samways wants to wish her husband, Rob Samways, seven years of marriage today on the 1st of August. Seven whole years in love, as Em says, in love. So um, yeah, Rob watches the videos every day. Thanks for watching, Rob. He's a livestock farmer from uh, Dorset, I think it was. Yeah. Dorset. Yeah, so uh, I hope I haven't got that wrong, but I think I've got that right. Nice. Very nice. Thanks, guys. You've uh, helped the Yorkshire Ambulance greatly. And if anybody else wants to do that, link below to Mix Dimensions, Just Giving page. Business. Okay, I think this is about where we are going to leave the video today. Yep. Um, because me and I have got some feeding up to do. Yep. Maybe we might go live, possibly, Ooh. you reckon? Okay. So if you would subscribed, you would have got a notification for that. Um, so subscribe if you haven't already and then you get in included in this sort of thing yeah. um, Press the like button if you've watched the video this far because it's a very long one today Thank you very much for watching. We really 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 appreciate it and um, pop a comment in the comments Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah Helicopters Oh yeah, helicopter. So a guy says he might come and pick us up in his helicopter What has the world come to him? Crackers. Crackers So anybody else who's got a helicopter and wants to come and pick us up, we are your best friends we love it. We love it. We'd love to see the farm from a helicopter. Imagine. That'd be wicked, wouldn't it? Yeah. Proper wicked. Right, anyway, 
we're just you know we've it's all gone to his head Zem hasn't it this like TV stuff helicopters like we're just we're losing his roots here we're just losing his roots um, but no we, we love this uh, we love doing the YouTube thing and we're gonna go bye, bye.